Welcome to Snake Dive Barbell Time to Train. Yes, I am coaching my girlfriend through my coach's programming for her. So, with this very first squat, she has become a power builder. That means she is a powerlifting bodybuilder. So, congratulations. Welcome to the club. She's doing um, a uh, an eight week program. So this is day one. She's going to train three days a week, and um, and she is going to do some serious body composition changing. She's probably going to be doing a little bit of one meal a day, two meal a day, figuring out the diet that helps her perform best under the tutelage of my coach John Allen Reese. So. We're going to make a YouTube channel for Adina and get her underway. All right, so to the training. Here's what the first thing I have to say about Adina is that she is a little bit stubborn only because she has confidence in herself, but she's not very practiced in the squat. So um, I had to knock the weight down from 127, 130 pounds which was scheduled for her today down to 95. You see the, the, the strength just isn't there as we make it up to 125 for a set of four. And she didn't flip the switch. Um, whether she flipped the switch or not and was able to hit this 125 for 10, it would have been nasty, it would have been ugly, it would not have been good. And, uh, and uh, I'm talking to her here, you know, she's, she's braced. Pretty good. I'm not. I don't let her unrack it unless she's unless she her upper back tight. Her upper her upper back tightness is good. Um, you know the cue is to keep the uh, to keep the to keep the belt on tight and, and blow that and blow that belly out like a blowfish all the way around from from front to side to back, super tight in the in the core, and to uh, drop that weight down with the barbell over the midfoot and just move the barbell. So. We only have a couple of cues so she doesn't get muddled in her mind. Just keeping that upper back braced and that core braced and to move the barbell. That's all we're doing. And uh, as you can see, she's, yeah, she's out of practice and she's lost a, a little bit of strength. So I made the call here to, uh, yeah, we're going to rack that and we're going to uh, knock it down to 90 pounds for three sets of 10. She gave me a slight bit of hassle for that, but uh, I gave her the look that said, look, you know, you're going to, uh, you're going to, you're going to trust me on this and um, you're going to give it a shot. And if you want that, weight back you're gonna you're gonna have to earn it so we didn't have much of an argue about that because we've already been through that once before and uh and so she knows that you know i'm keeping her best interest at heart and lo and behold this first set was a little bit wobbly but she started to get confidence See, even by that second rep, she started to get confidence in moving the barbell all i'm asking her to do is to get tight Brace her core, keep her breath, get brace, keep her, keep her, keep, you know, she doesn't, she doesn't get to breathe until it's time to get set mentally for another rep, then she braces and drops, right? So her confidence has gone up because the weight has gone down. And that's what we're looking for is to have confidence. You want to be confident under the barbell as a new lifter. You don't want to have the weight jacked up so high that it makes you not want to come back, that you're, that you're just dying the next day, right? So um, once we knock that weight down, then she starts moving the barbell. Then she starts moving it, and she starts having a good time. Where before it was just, she, you know, it, it just wasn't working. You know what I'm saying, Coach. It just wasn't, it just wasn't working. So Adina is listening to this as well. Um, you know what I mean, baby? It just wasn't working. And, uh, and my first job is to, is to keep you safe. <clears throat> Second job is to make it so that you want to come back. And, you know, it's no fun if it's just such a horrible experience that, that, you know, getting all your stuff ready, you know, going through the ritual to go to the gym 
you know, who wants to do that when you know that you're going to hate it when you get there, right? And as I said, you know, strength takes a long time, but it's the journey that you should enjoy. You should enjoy it, right? Now look at the way you're squatting here, Adina. You got some confidence going on there, right? Got to give me a little more speed, I'm asking you. Give me a little more speed. There you go. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're looking for. There you go. A little confidence. Now nah, that's a good rep. That's what we're looking for. You're building around that. There you go. Excellent. That's all we're looking for. You know, um, too many, too many cues. It, it just confuses you, right? So you're keeping the barbell over your midfoot pretty good there. Your back tightness was good. You're unracking it good. You're setting up good. You're doing all the things right. Um, and uh, uh, belt's on super tight. So I mean, you're you know you're good to go. You're moving the barbell just fine. There it is. Exactly. There you go. There it is. Now that's good work. That's good work, right? <clears throat> getting your breath together. You're a little bit forward on that one, but you get your breath together. Then when you got that breath locked down, you hit it. Bam! Back on up. There you go. No pausing. See, Coach Adina likes to do these pause reps where she likes to stop for a split second at the bottom. And we're trying to get... Trying to get her to not dive bomb. I don't want you dive bombing, but I, and and I don't want you going too slow. I want a nice steady rep that you can repeat over and over and over and over again, where there is no pause at the bottom. Now, pause reps are their own animal. That's their own thing. That's a whole nother uh, variation on the squat. And you doesn't say I'm looking at your program. Doesn't say pause squats. It says squat. So that's what we've got to find for you. We've got to find your pace. You want to be able to drop down into the hole as fast as you can possibly do it while keeping your form. You want to go into that hole as fast as you can do the downward movement of the squat. Right? And this movement is what you want, whether it's an empty barbell or whether it's a max attempt. But since we are uh, power building and your, and your program is calling for a lot of uh, sets of 10, because I'm, I'm looking at each week after each week after each week, and it's basically a three by 10 for the next eight weeks. Right, so you've got a lot of volume, and, and that's what it means. You know, you're doing a lot of reps, a lot of reps, and that's going to build you a lot of muscle, and it's going to condition you. So it's very important that the weight was something very manageable. Okay, because we want you to get good with these lower weights, right? So after this eight weeks, you know, I'm not sure what Coach John will have you have you doing. Um, but I mean, you'll be in condition for uh, for for some really good variations on on this program. But I'm not sure. You know, that's between you and John to to decide. I'm just an intermediate intermediary here, making sure that that uh, that you're keeping your form good, that you're staying confident, and that you're staying safe. So um, I definitely liked what I saw today, what I saw yesterday. And, um, and this was a beautiful squat session once we got the initial bugs worked out and got you back into the groove. Now, what we have here is a little bit of the old bench pressing. And got to tell you, the bench is looking really good today. Looking really, really good. You know, you've got a really nice back arch. We have, <laughs> we've set this, uh, this bench up uh, because the... Uh, the, those aren't J hooks, coach. Those are railroad uh, bolts. So my friend's dad built this squat rack. It's made from scratch. It's hand welded, and um, and it's built for someone in Dina's size. But I squatted it and benched it too. And it's just kind of weird that the guy who um, who built this Bob that his bench press 
Um, Jay Hook and my bench press Jay Hook are the same height. <laughs> but he's at his tallest, he was only 5'8, and I'm 6'1. So that's just kind of weird. Anyway, um, Adina's looking good here. We went empty bar all the way up to 70. Um, up to, to 70 for 3 by 10. So she jumped from 45 to 70, and it wasn't uh, it wasn't a problem with her. The only reason why it looked a little bit shady at a few times, at a few spots, was because she, um, you know, she's just out of practice with, with the coronavirus and uh, with how that changed everything with her work schedule and, and how I was having issues with my landlord. And, then with the gym closing, we got out of the groove just a little bit, but I set this gym up so we we're right back in the swing of things. And uh, it was a doggone good training session today. We we're working our way around all the different, uh, uh, all the different um, um, exercises in your programming, and we're having a good time. So. Uh, now, let's see here. We missed set two because my battery ran out. Uh, I had the old one in, so I've taken that battery and I've uh, put it in my room uh, in, uh, in, in a uh, miscellaneous battery basket. It's nowhere near my camera anymore. It just doesn't hold a charge. I've tried and tried and it's done. So uh, I won't be missing any more sets because the battery just cut off it just lost its charge but we have here the final set and this was again 70 pounds for three sets of 10. now dana's got a really good bench press she loves the bench press actually she really really does love the bench press um so we are um we're looking pretty doggone good if, for for our absolute newbie on the bench, she is probably going to have a very very nice bench press uh, down the road. She just needs to not miss any days. No matter you know, I we've talked and and I said, hey, you know, when I feel like dog shit and 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 I'm pissed off in the world, or you know, or it's just I just the let gym's the last place I want to be. I don't care. I go. And, uh, and that's what Dina's going to do. She's going to go. And she can be, uh, it, as far as I'm concerned, she can be as, as nasty and mean as surly as possible as long as she knows how to flip that switch and get into the work. It's all that matters because you don't miss a day. Um, it's not optional unless you're literally sick or just completely beaten up all to hell. You don't miss days, period. That's how you get the most out of your training. Um, so, what's going on here? I did a lot of editing, so what's going on here? Uh, I think I chopped this part out. I think I might have, yeah, I forgot to chop this part out. So, I can't really um, go back because it would mess up all the other stuff I recorded. So, um, bear with me here. Yeah, we only got a couple more seconds. Um, so, I'd say all in all, the bench session was good. Um, I'm going to try to get a little bit better of a, I, I need to get this bench, this, uh, the actual bench up, raised up maybe another quarter inch, uh, for her and clear some room for her feet. But we were just flanagling things all around the damn gym, trying to get this bench uh, at just the right height for her. So it was a bit of a pain in the ass, but that's okay. We are, uh, well underway. And she's going to have uh, a lot of uh, uh, wonderful um, body composition changes. I think she's going to really, really like. Already at work, they um, they're amazed at at uh, at her stamina and how strong she is. So they haven't seen anything yet, man. Um, all right, so we worked on dumbbells and we put weight on dumbbells and. We were like, man, what's your max weight on these lunges? And 45 pounds is her max weight on the on the dumbbells. So uh, we don't have, instead of going outside where it's muddy, um, because the, the garage here is just surrounded by lawn, there's no concrete, um, there's no walking area. So 
uh, we just, we're going to do some standing lunges and, um, yeah, she's definitely got some legs on her. She, them wheels are strong coach. She's, uh, <laughs> she, she doesn't believe me when I tell her how, how actually how strong she really is, but she'll, she'll figure that out sooner or later. Now, uh, we, we put on 35 pounds and it was just a little bit too much for her to, um, she kind of sensed that it was just going to be a little bit too much. So we dropped it to 30, and she's got some good form going on here. She's got, look at that form. Looking all right over there. Yeah. All right. So we're not looking so bad here as far as form. And, um, yeah, I got to tell you, she moves a, she moves a, a pretty mean dumbbell. Um, yeah. I'd like to see her arms tucked in a little bit, bit a little bit more, but uh, I'd say that she's she's uh, she's looking not so bad. She likes to do an extra rep or two, and so who am I to stop her? Because sometimes I say okay because I'm counting and she hits ten, but yet she still keeps on going. So I have to let her go. Yes. <laughs> Right, so she went to failure on that, and that's a good thing in general. Uh, here, we went to a 45-pounder, and it wasn't happening. So the 25-pounder, she said, uh, felt really, really good. The 35, um, we're going to work into that. So, And plus, I need you to give her feedback on this pullover. Now, the pullover, I told her, because I never do pullovers, but I told her to... Basically, you're not locking out your arms. You are going to keep the uh, kind of like I just told her to, to kind of roll her elbows back because this is a lat building movement and a tricep stretching movement. So, but it's mostly a lat building movement, if I'm not mistaken. At least that's what I told her. And uh, I was watching some pullover exercises done by some by some people on YouTube, and it seemed like uh, the the idea was to get a high chest, an expanded rib cage, stretch the lats out, stretch the triceps, and work on uh, getting a good rubber bandy type of pullback to the start position. We got 20 pounds here on the uh, on the uh, uh, sumo. Uh, bicep curl, and this is what I think you meant when you said sumo bicep curl. You just position that elbow behind the knee for stability, and I asked her to turn her turn her uh, turn her wrist in so she can get a uh, better range of motion. Nice full extension, go nice and slow. Squeeze at the top. There you go. And I think the twenty pounds will keep and work into that until. Uh, everything is moving easy peasy. Then we add on some more weight. All right, <clears throat> this concludes the uh, the first training session for Adina, and uh, I'm really proud of her. You did a great job today, babe. You're uh, you're really you're really going to be pleased at the end of eight weeks. Um, you're going to be feeling the effects of this great program well before that time. So now we just have to uh, make sure that you're getting your sleep.